and welcome to Facebook Live. Today I'm here with Anne and we're going to be talking about some pelicans. Hi everybody. Yeah, so we're here at our pelican exhibit and in case you haven't ever found our pelicans, they're kind of tucked away um, in the Naganda Village section of the zoo. Ashley's going to pan you around so you can see. There's our Naganda to go go snack stand and the bathrooms and the playground. And so we're out here on the little dock that juts out into the pelican exhibit. And there you can see the elephant exhibit real quick. And then you can see the pelicans. And they already know what's up because it is time for their afternoon feeding. So we're going to be feeding them fish. And we feed four kinds of fish here at the zoo. I have three of those kinds here this afternoon. Um, this first one, fish is a rainbow trout just like what you would eat if you were going to go to the restaurant and get a trout fillet but a little bit smaller and then farther down this is a capelin and this is an oceanic fish and then at the very bottom are the littlest fish we feed out and these are sand smelt we also feed out herring and those are just fed out in the morning in place of the trout so these guys are ready to go, so I'm just going to have Ashley come over here next to me. Now, do they have a favorite fish to eat? They seem to prefer the trout and the herring, um, and then the smelt, and then the capelin is their least favorite. <laughs> They're pretty good catching it. They are, yeah. We have 13 pelicans here to do right now. 11 are those eastern white pelicans, and they're the big white ones up front. And then we also have two pink back pelicans. That's that one back there, and then that guy way out in the distance standing on the dock. She'll come over later. You might look at those pink back pelicans and think, I don't see any pink. When you look at them in person, there's just a kind of a rosy, dusty color underneath their wings. Ornithologists have weird ways of naming birds. I don't know why they do <laughs> But feeding the birds this way on exhibit allows us to get a good up-close view of the birds. It also ensures that everybody's getting their fair share of fish. Those beaks are really impressive. Do they um, help them when they're foraging in the wild? Yeah, so birds have really um, highly developed sense of touch. And one of those things is for these guys is in their beaks. So what they would do when they're hunting in the wild, and they'll show you this when we're done, because they'll start searching for fish that they've missed. Is they'll stick that beak underwater and they'll wait to feel something swim by. And that's when they would snap their beak shut and hopefully it's a fish. That is so cool. Yeah, this catching behavior is not the way they get fed in the wild, obviously. <laughs> they are hunters. Um, and pelicans are really interesting because they're cooperative hunters. Um, that's why you see, you know, they do feed as a flock. And similar to dolphins, they hunt in a group. And what they'll do is they'll create a U-shaped um, pattern out of the birds. And then that U-shaped line of birds will drive fish into the shallows, and that way they can all scoop up a bunch of fish. Oh, that is so cool! Yeah. The um, brown pelican, which is the pelican that you see down in the Gulf Coast, like Galveston area, um, in the Florida Everglades, that's the only pelican that um, hunts on the wing, the only one that will dive down into the water. All other pelican species hunt um, while they're swimming. So can those beaks ex um, expand a little bit? Yeah, so if you watch, I don't know how well you can see it on the screen, but when they dip under the water, as they pull up a mouthful of water and fish, that fleshy pouch is very expandable. And um, it can stretch really far. I've read that 
it can hold up to three gallons of water. I don't know where they get that number exactly. Um, but it can expand really far, and then they'll contract it and squirt all that water back out of their beak, and then just swallow them. They don't have baleen or anything like that, like a whale. So the fish that they're eating are big enough that they don't have to filter it. Now it looks like some of them have little bands on their legs. What are those for? Those are their leg bands. Those are for identification. Um, each one of our birds has a unique um, identification, whether it's um, done with color or number or left or right leg. And that way uh, we know who is who. And that's true for every single um, bird, uh, but also every single animal here at the zoo. Uh, we have a way of identifying individuals, um, except for things like insects and small fish and tiny frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. In that case, they're uh, tracked by groups. And you might notice that there are some freeloaders here in the exhibit. There are wild ducks and wild turtles that hang out in the exhibit. Um, those are not our animals. The mallards and the uh, wood ducks are flying, and then the red-eared flighters uh, come in from the canal. And then every once in a while, you're lucky, and there's a soft-shelled turtle that we see every once in a while. Ooh. They should kind of swim around and look through the water. Oh, yep, I see a couple of them doing that. Yeah, so they'll just probe around and see if they can't find um, anything that somebody missed. Wow, that is so neat to get <laughs> to see them with that um, expandable bill. That's so cool. Yeah. But if we stand here long enough, you'll notice that they'll give up pretty fast and they'll just go back up onto the island and they'll take another nap. Um, pelicans are at the top of their food chain. There's not much in the wild that would mess with a pelican. And that's not to say that they wouldn't ever get um, predated upon by like a crocodile or something, but um, they spend most of their day sleeping or preening um, because they only have to hunt a couple times a day in order to reach their caloric uh, intake. That is so cool. Yeah. So if you come by um, and they're napping, that's kind of what pelicans <laughs> do. <laughs> they have a good life. They do. They have it pretty easy. Well, that was so awesome. Thank you so much for um, sharing with us how you guys feed the pelicans here You're at welcome. the Sedgwick County Zoo. Um, now, just for any of our visitors that are watching, we do have lots of fun programs coming up the rest of this summer. Um, we do have programs for young children, um, elementary school children, as well as teens. Our teen program is called Adventure Academy, and you get to learn a little bit about native wildlife and field data and things like that. And if you enjoy getting to see the pelicans swim around and the elephants swim around, we also have a really fun evening program called Zoo Cruise, where you get to go around on a golf cart and the boat and get to experience the zoo at night, which is really fun. Check out our website at scz.org for more information on all of our programs that we're offering this summer. Thanks everyone for tuning in and have a fantastic day.